I'm Leslie Risby. I'm a ceramicist and I work mainly with porcelain and nichrome wire. All my work, from as long as I can remember, has been based on, on nature. And specifically recently I've been working on seed pods and um, visits to Kew Gardens and, and other um, gardens have stimulated the ideas which, which I'm using at the moment. I go and I sometimes sketch, but usually I'm photographing um, and I use the photographs to either make um, just a sketch from that and, and an idea I get. Or sometimes I make a maquette, which I might make of clay or I might make of wire. And I decide how many pieces will make up the sculpture because I don't tend to make one whole piece. It's usually in sections and the component parts make up the whole. The skeletal nature of some of the sea pods is represented by the skeletal nature of the wire and the forms that I'm producing. The nichrome wire is quite strong, but in the heat of the kiln, it does um, bend and move. So when you're firing the pieces, you need to actually support the work in the kiln. And in order to do that, I make a former, which can be used to actually shape the piece in but also to contain the piece when it's being fired. As I make the piece, I'm weaving the pieces round to actually form the shape. An additional thing which is really important is that you're making the hooks as you're building and these actually prevent the piece sticking to the former when it's firing because the whole piece is glazed and if you didn't have the hooks to actually hold the piece proud from the former, the whole thing would stick. Looking at the, 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 the more spherical piece, you can see there's more solid um, clay here. And in order to get that more solid piece of clay, I've got to add it on something. And what I do is I dip fabric into the slip and drape it and pull it onto the, um, the wire form in order to get the, um, the clay in the places that I want. So that is just um, using ordinary porcelain slip, but I do add 5% molochite to the slip, which makes it less um, likely to shrink during the firing, um, so you don't get quite so many cracks when the, thing, when the piece is fired. Once you've actually added all the pieces that you want, Adding, building it up slowly, cutting small pieces of fabric, dipping them in the slip and putting it on the wire form, drying it slowly with the heat gun um, and then you get it to a point where it's covered as much as you want, then you can dry it back and then cover it in a glaze. Um, and the glaze I use is just quite a simple glaze. You can use any glaze that you want, really, any, any white transparent or semi-matte transparent glaze or anything will work. The glaze has 2% glaze binder in it, and this enables it to be brushed on. An important part of it is to glaze outside, and if possible, as much as possible, inside, which means getting in the holes and cracks with your, your brush. Looking at the more open piece, the ferny piece on, on the outside, the slip for this one is porcelain, which has had 3% um, silicon, silicon carbide and 3% copper oxide to it. So it makes a slip which is almost black, not completely black, but almost black. Um, and it has a volcanic reaction, which makes it very textured and um, rather attractive. You've got your two pieces covered in slip, and then you've got to fire them. When I fire the pieces, I fire them just once. Um, I do a, a, a slow firing up to 600, um, and then um, faster firing up to 1220 with a 15 minute soak. Um, this gives me cone seven um, firing. The seed pods represent the um, 
fragility and vulnerability of nature. Um, and this is what I'm trying to demonstrate in the pieces that I'm making.